Holy cow, you're back! You're a glutton for punishment. Well, welcome back. It's your friend Gunnar Nelson from Nashville, Tennessee with my good news of the day. Now we've been on a theme. We're doing a week of these things where we're actually going to talk about your physical body and the little things that you can do to improve your physicality, which in kind is going to actually promote great moods, lift your spirits, make you a, a happier person, which is gonna make people like you more because no one likes a drag. Okay, so on that note, yesterday we talked about eating right for your type. The day before we talked about alkalizing, we talked about quitting sodas, we talked about having to move your butt to improve your emotional state. And today we're gonna to talk about something that, that uh, I, I, it's a skill that I have learned going to a seminar called Life Mastery. I went to a long time ago. Uh, my friend Tony Robbins was throwing it. I happened to be in Hawaii at the time. It was beautiful, but one of the things that I learned at that particular seminar I use every single day, and it's, it's about uh, breathing. Now, I know that it sounds lame and it sounds like a simple concept, but I learned a, a, an exercise, a breathing exercise that is very simple to do, and it does a couple of things. It basically takes, you know, all your lymph in your body and your adrenaline and and it actually oxygenates your blood and it makes you uh, think more clearly and it lifts up your mood. So I do this first thing in the morning and right before I go to sleep. But boy, does this help make me energized and refreshed. And I want you to remember this formula, one, four, two. It's as simple as that, one, four, two. Okay, so what I mean by that is, here's what you're gonna do. You know, you're gonna get, you can do this anywhere. Okay, you can, and no one knows you're doing it, even when you're doing it, waiting for a plane, whatever. All right, I want you to breathe in, okay, for a count of anything, okay? Then I want you to hold your breath when you breathe all the way and you filled up your lungs all the way for four times longer than the count that you used to breathe in. And then I want you to slowly exhale when you've done that for half the time that you've held your breath, one, four, two. Okay, so let's say I want to breathe in and I want to do five seconds, okay? You breathe in for five seconds, then you hold your breath for 20 seconds when it's at its apex, all right? Just hold your breath, and you can feel the tingles in your fingers, and you can feel all of this stuff. And then when you get to the count of 20, I want you to slowly breathe out for 10 seconds. One, four, and two. And I want you to do that just a couple of times, okay? Two or three times. Do that in the morning, do that at night. You will not believe what that does to your emotional state and your mental clarity. I know it sounds way too simple to be a groovy thing, but you watch. This is one of the most powerful things that I learned at this high dollar seminar was actually how to do this particular breathing exercise and make myself a better and happier person. So I'm gonna challenge you to try that, all right? One, four, two, do your breathing because man, if you ain't breathing, then you ain't here. Lots of love to you guys. God bless, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.